Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and today we will look at how to crop images directly in Drupal 8. Now, I'm sure you've experienced this, especially if you've been using Drupal for a while, where you have created a few image styles, assuming a certain style of image will be uploaded. And then all of a sudden, a user uploads a portrait image. And then all of your image styles are cropping the portrait images right at the center. And this means that the images aren't looking that nice because the focal point of portrait images are generally right at the top, the face of the person. Now, the easy workaround for this is to crop images directly in Drupal. And today, I want to show you how to use image widget crop and focal point. So here is my sandbox site. And the only thing that I've done after installing Drupal 8 was creating this test article and I tweaked the medium and large image style. Normally, they just use the scale effect, but I've changed it so that they both use scale and crop just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. So if we go into test article, you will see that this portrait image doesn't really look nice. The focal point is kind of cut in half. So let's just say the head is the focal point of the, of, uh, the image. It is cut in half. So to fix this problem, let's set up image widget crop so that editors can select and crop images directly within Drupal. So the first thing we'll do is install it. So click on extend and then search for image widget, one word, not two words because it won't appear. Image widget crop and then just install it. Now, the first thing we need to do is create a crop type. So to do that, just go to configuration and you should see crop types. Click on it and then click on add crop type. And I'll call this one large and I'll give it an aspect ratio of one to one. And we'll look at this soft limit and hard limit in a second. But let's just create this crop type. And now that we have the crop type, let's go back into configuration and attach it to an image style. Now this is important. So let's go to image styles and I'll add it to large and select manual crop and click on add. And make sure you select large. Well, right now it's the only crop, crop type. And what I'll do is make sure that Manual crop appears first and scale and crop appears second because in the manual crop, users could still select a crop region, which is greater than 480 by 480. So it's important to have this final crop just to make sure that what we receive from the image style is correct. But again, it depends on how you want to handle images and how your site is actually set up. But in my case, I always want to know that the large image style always outputs images at 480 by 480. So click on update style. Okay, so now what we need to do is configure a widget. So when you are setting up image widget crop, there's really three parts to it. First, you need to create your crop type. Then you need to add your crop type to an image style. And lastly, you need to configure the image widget crop widget on the image field. So let's do that now. Let's go to structure, content types, and click on manage form display. And on the image field, just select image widget crop and click on the cog wheel and make sure you select large. Now, if you have created a crop type and it's not appearing here, make sure you add it to an image style. Crop types that are added to image styles will only appear here, okay? So just remember that your crop type needs to be part of an image style. And then just click on update and save. So now if we go to our test article, you can see that it's not cropped that well. Let's go edit. And we do get this field set where we can select a region and we can even resize it. And the reason why it's sticking to a, to an aspect ratio is because we set it one to one. 
If you are cropping images, say for widescreen, you will set it for 16 by nine. So let's just crop this section and then click on save and keep published. And now you can see that the image has been cropped. Let's now look at the soft and hard limit. So what I'll do is I will go into configuration. I'll open up another tab and go into configuration and then go crop types. And then, then I'll, I'll edit the large crop type. And what I'll do is I'll set the soft crop, sorry, the soft limit to be 300 by 300 and the hard limit to be 200 by 200. And then click on save crop type. So if we go back to our test article, you can see that the crop is red. So if we go back, let's go back until it's blue. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but let me just move this down. You can see that right now it's blue. If we resize it, it is red. So right now we have reached the soft limit and it even says that up the top here, soft limit, uh, soft limit reached, but we can still resize it smaller until we hit the hard limit. Once we reach the hard limit, we can't go any smaller than that. So that's how you can use soft limits and hard limits. A soft limit just indicates to the editor, okay, you have reached a certain width and height, but you can still resize smaller. A hard limit doesn't let you resize smaller than what is set. So let's just set the crop here, for example, and then click on save and keep published. Now, one thing that I've also noticed, and I'm not quite sure if, if this is a bug, is that if you have a hard limit set, it actually validates and says that the width and height is smaller than the allowed um, hard limit. So one way to get around that is just make it a bit bigger, just a few pixels bigger. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or I don't know if this is an if statement where they are using less than instead of equals or less than or vice versa. But if we click on save and keep published, it works. All right, so that is image widget crop. Now, manually cropping images is great, but when you have more than one crop, so in, in our case, we, o we only have a single crop, which is fine, but I've worked on sites where you have five crops and having to manually crop an image every single time you upload something can be tedious. So the next module I'm gonna show you is focal point. So the first thing we'll do is enable it. So let's go to extend and search for focal point. Now let's go to configuration and let's add it to the image styles. So click on image styles and we'll add it to large and medium. So let's edit the large one first. So let's put in focal point scale and crop. And I'll put in 480 by 480. And I'll delete these other ones because they are not needed anymore because the focal point does a scale and crop. And let's go back. Well, let's just click on update style. You can, you can never update enough stuff in Drupal. And then let's go to medium and let's add in focal point scale and crop as well. And what was that? 220 by uh, 220. And I'll remove this scale and crop, no longer needed. And then click on update style. Okay. Now, the next thing we need to do is switch the image widget. So let's go back to structure, content types, and manage form display. And instead of using the image widget crop, we'll use just the image widget. Because focal point doesn't come with its own fancy widget, it actually reuses the original image widget. So let's just select image and click on save. Okay, let's go back to our test article. And you should see a preview of the image that you upload and a crosshair. I hope you guys can see that. I'll, I'll zoom in in the video when I, when I edit it. And so this crosshair is considered the focal point. And what Drupal will do is it'll resize and, 
well, it'll scale and crop around the focal point. So if you have multiple image styles and you have a single focal point, all you need to do is upload an image, select the focal point and Drupal does the rest. You're not stuck manually cropping things as you would if you were to use image widget crop. And another thing you can do is preview what the crops will look like. So just click on, okay, so let's just move the crosshair right up the top and then click on preview. You can see what it will look like in both image styles. If we were to move it all the way down, you can see what it looks like like that. Pretty cool. Okay, let's just keep it right down at the bottom and click on save and keep published. And if we go to the test article, you will see that Drupal has resized or cropped the image around the focal point. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about Drupal, head over to webwash.net. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified of future videos. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you next time.